to my YouTube channel. Here we are with the little random video that I promised you. Um, as you can see, we are on Tear Maker and we will do a tier list of Smite Waifus. Unfortunately, I could only find the version of 2021. So there will be some female characters not included, some goddesses. I'm sorry. Hopefully, you're not gonna be mad at me for this, but. I don't know, whatever. Um, as everybody knows, I have the most based taste, so uh, this will be the one and only tier list that counts, right? So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, uh, of course not. But let's just vote, I suppose, and have a fun time. Doesn't matter too much, right? So, yeah. First off, we have Amaterasu. Honestly, uh, I think she's amazing. I love her in-game. I think she's very pretty. Um, she's pretty badass as well, but at the same time I also think she is like a good person. Like she doesn't want to harm people who don't deserve it. I think she's very protective and everything. I think we have our first peak waifu material here. She is just a full package, I think, and I don't know, I, I think she's amazing. For me, definitely peak waifu material. Um, now, it gets already interesting. I bet a lot of you would say uh, Aphrodite 100% peak waifu material, but hear me out. She is the goddess of love. She likes to um, seduce men, seduce women. Right? Like, that's her job, basically. She loves it. Do you really want to be with someone who's like that, you know? And she's very revealingly dressed, which I know a lot of people would like and stuff. I also get it in the sense of the game. It's, it's fitting to her character and all. But for me, it doesn't fit the peak waifu material, therefore. I think she's still very beautiful. Probably also decently nice person. But not higher than good waifu material, in my opinion. Then we have Arachne. I mean, now, no. I'm just, I just don't wanna, nah. I, I don't think, uh, uh, I don't wanna be with a spider. I'm sorry. <laughs> Artemis. Artemis is an interesting one. I think she's a very driven character. I think she's also very pretty, don't get me wrong. She's also like, she has this wild side probably, like she loves being in the, the uh, in the nature and all that. But I do think she wouldn't care too much about you. I think she cares more about like hunting, being out there, not coming home a lot. You know, I, I think she's more like, I, I'm going into the forest for a hunt and I see you in two weeks again or something. That's the kind of vibe I get from her. So I don't think she's peak waifu. The question is, is she good for waifu material or is she just... I guess I kind of get it. I think it is for now good waifu material, but we'll see. We'll see how that develops. Now we have Artio. Okay, hear me out, hear me out. Artio in her human form is pretty, pretty, is really pretty. She's badass. She is, um, I don't know, like she, she just brings a lot to the table and she can turn into a bear. Now the question is, are we scared of this because she could kill us potentially or do we think that's a good thing because she can protect us? I trust Atio. I think Atio is a good person and therefore she's peak wife material. Okay, now um, we have Athena. Honestly, not, not much to say about Athena. She's, she's pretty, she has the, uh, she's a very like righteous person, I think. I think she really takes it serious to protect the ones she loves, she's wise. She, there's nothing bad about Athena. There's literally nothing bad about it. And therefore she's also peak waifu material in my opinion. Um, a Wheelix. Okay, a Wheelix is, goes into the same direction as, uh, Artemis goes in my opinion like she's very pretty and everything um, but I do think she also doesn't really care too much about um, yeah taking care of you like she would just go on to jump onto her uh, I don't know tiger or whatever and run off into the forest have a fun time and be like yeah whatever you either come with me or you don't um, I don't care and I think I don't what well, I do think that Artio would there 
would be there to protect you because she becomes the bear right and, and can like control herself kind of and Weelix I'm not so sure she can uh, she can always like make sure the tiger doesn't attack you I think therefore she's even going a bit further down into the I guess I kind of get it here Hear me out, I think she's super pretty, so I think a lot of people will disagree with this one, but I think she's she should maybe good wife material at the very end, but I think it's rather a tough pick for, for I guess I kind of get it here. Okay, then we have Baba Yaga. Uh, I, <laughs> I don't know, I think it's either just no or questionable, but I do understand, like at least she's not a, she's not an animal. And she's not a, a child or whatever. She's a very old woman, right? Uh, I don't know. I guess it's questionable, therefore. It's just not my type. If you are into older women, like very much older women, then sure, go for it. Uh, I, I, won't, I won't judge you at all. Uh, but no, nah, I, I think it's definitely a questionable pick. Um, now, Bastet, everybody. Okay. Hear me out. This is a bit different than Arachne. Arachne is a spider. People don't like spiders usually. People do like cats and people do love cat girls. Now, do I love cat girls? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, maybe to some degree. I think Bustad, I don't know if she's necessarily the type of cat girl people would be into as well. I think she's not good waifu material overall. I think she's also into in the I can I guess I kind of get it tier. Bellona. Okay, Bellona is literally she's badass, she's righteous, she's cool, she's like she will beat you up if you need it and I think a lot of people are really into this. I personally uh, yeah, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not talking about this any further. She's peak waifu material, okay? She's peak waifu material. By the way, uh, hear me out with the top tier. So far, I didn't do any ranking here. I'm also not sure I will because they are just all four of them amazing. Um, but yeah, okay. Um, now Zhang A. Um, Zhang A, I think, has a lot going for her. Um... She's a dancer, she's pretty, she's very kind, I think, very... Yeah, I, I think she's a she's a very good person. I wonder though if maybe dancing in her entire career is also the thing that is the most important for her. And she doesn't care too much about people. That is the kind of vibe that I get from her overall. And I think therefore she's good waifu material. Um, probably better though than uh, than Aphrodite, honestly. <sighs> like this, yeah. I think that that looks fine. Um, Charybdis, uh, no, that's just a child. Um, I'm I'm good. <laughs> and then we have uh, oh, what's her name again? I can't think of her name right now, but she's literally a ghost or a zombie, um, whatever you want to say. So, uh, at least questionable, I would call put her in the no tier. Maybe before the spider, because she's still like kind of human, right? <laughs> so, I guess so. Daji. Now, Daji is scary. She's like a very um scary like i will slice you into pieces kind of character and i don't think that she always means good for you i i really doubt it um i don't know i think i would be scared of that for the most part and therefore maximal i guess i kind of get it but i think she's more in the questionable tier for me discordia discordia is crazy i i think we can agree with that she's like she has a bit of a um weird side to her she has a bit of a, a tick um i don't know how, how i feel about this um she's decently pretty she's kind of cool i think she would be fun to hang out with but i think i don't really see her as a waifu um i think she's in the i guess i kind of get it tier i'm not quite sure where exactly uh maybe maybe i just put her in here for now Freya. I think Freya is really cool. 
Uh, there's not much to say that I dislike about Freya, but she also doesn't have anything where I'm like, I'm super, super stoked about it. I like her Viking aesthetics and everything. Um, she's pretty cool, but she also at the same time doesn't give me that little bit special something that I kind of would love to see in someone who's a peak waifu. So therefore I think she's a good waifu and, and maybe even before uh, Jungle. So I, I think that's a fair, a fair point. Now Hell, um, okay, hear me out. How can you f even think she's peak or good? There's one part of her when she's the angel form where I'm like, okay, that's definitely very well and good and everything. But the other one is literally a demon. So I, I don't understand that. Um, um, who would like to deal with that, right? Um, certainly not me. Uh, I think it's questionable. And um, the question is where I, I guess. Ooh, I, I think uh, uh, Baba Yaga is genuinely a bad person as well. So I, I think here. Uh, maybe even before Daji. I don't know. I don't know. Hera. Um, Hera, I, I don't think she's too great either. Like, she's pretty, um, but she's very, very full of herself. Like, she loves herself more than anything else. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't know. I think you, she would never be able to really give you what you're looking for. Therefore, she's maybe an. I guess I kind of get it. Oh, not here, no. Um, is she before the cat girl? I think Bastet would care more about you. I think Hera is literally like, you're worth nothing, and I don't care about you. Like maybe she's not even that. I would. You're worth nothing. She's like, huh, whatever. I think that's more fitting. Now we have I uh, Iset. Iset. Okay. Um, I think there's nothing wrong with Iset. Like, basically, pretty much the same as Freya. She also has a cool aesthetic with the Egyptian style and stuff. I think her wings would kind of be annoying. <laughs> if you want to be with her, like, imagine you step into a room and she's just like knocks everything over with her wings and stuff. I don't know, I think that would be kind of annoying. Um, so maybe maybe she's like a good waifu material, but not high, very high up there. Isanami, okay, she's literally a zombie and <coughs> she's also not a good person. I think there's nothing really going for Isanami. Um, she's just a no for me. Yeah. Now, Ching Wei. Um, Okay, that's an interesting one. I have no idea how old Ching Wei is. I think she's a really cool goddess. I think she's also rather pretty and I like her a lot. I like playing her in game as well. Um, I, I do not know though how old she is. I think she might be underaged and therefore she's also going into the no tier. Uh, Kali. Kali is scary. Kali is literally just scary. She's a blood-hungry demon who's literally uh, gains life again by killing her target. No, I'm just no. It's okay. I'm. I don't want. I mean, she's at least not. Is she dead? Is she dead though? I. I. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just put her in the note here. I don't know exactly where. No means no, anyways. Um. Now Medusa. Hear me out. Medusa is. Not quite a no, I think. And that goes not just for me. I think a lot of people have ideas when it comes to Medusa. And it's not quite as hated as, like, for example, an Arachne. I think Medusa is, like, a very terrifying thing. A very, also probably very, like, hungry for death and destruction. But I do think there is something about Medusa that makes her want to be a better person, but she literally just can't because she's kind of like under this uh, crutch where she is like, yeah, possessed or something. I don't know what it is, but I do think Medusa deserves to be in the questionable tier. Not higher, not in the, uh, in the I can I guess I kind of get it. I do think you have a problem. She's your, your number one waifu. But in the questionable tier, that's very fair, I think. Now Morgan Le Fay. Morgan Le Fay, I think, is not a peak waifu material either. She is a bit like 
isn't she like driven by vengeance a lot and while she's pretty she's also a bit full of herself uh, i i don't know i think morgan le fay also has a rough time being argued for in the good waifu tier i would therefore say she is also in the i guess i kind of get it tier mulan okay mulan i just think there's very very little you can say against mulan she's a strong character strong woman she knows what she wants she's righteous she's a good person she defends the people she loves i i, I don't see anything wrong with mulan mulan is a peak waifu material um for me like she she deserves to be in that tier neef okay with neef i think she is awesome i think she's either peak waifu material or good waifu material now hear me out i think there's very little that is actually wrong with her i do have two points though that i kind of want to bring up here for one have you seen the way she's like when you when you use her emotes or laugh or also her jokes and everything she is quite cocky like she is uh, i don't know she, she's a bit of a feisty one um i'm not sure if that makes her like only good wife material though there's not really anything where i'm like i'm uncertain if she would treat you badly i think if she likes you she likes you and i think she deserves peak waifu now nemesis okay again she nemesis goes very much into the same direction as morgan le fay um she is the goddess of vengeance literally do you want to deal with someone who's literally always seeking vengeance i i would not want that i i think she is she is pretty um but maybe she's also pretty righteous i guess you kind of have to give that to her so she's probably higher um up than morgan le fay but i don't see her quite a good wife material just because like the goddess of vengeance i i'm terrified of you sorry i guess i kind of get it um now nike nike i i think she's cool um she might be also a bit too full of herself she's she's a bit too cocky and not in a fun feisty way where she's like hey playfully and stuff right but she is literally like i'm i'm the coolest right so i don't know i think she's good but i think she could be pretty annoying too hang out with longer i don't know she's okay uh nox nox is an interesting one she's the goddess of night she has this tendency to hold you in your dreams probably and stuff uh, i don't know she's a bit terrifying to me her whole aesthetic and everything i i think she she's cool um but i do worry what's going on with her she's too mysterious to me while it's nice and cool if you're a little mysterious she's a bit too mysterious uh for my liking so i think she's just in the i guess i kind of get it tier i don't think she she deserves to be higher Nuwa. Okay, I love Nuwa. I think she's super cool. I don't 100% remember what goddess she's for, but she seems to be gentle. She's uh, amazing in basically every regard. I, I don't have a lot of to say that uh, speaks against her. And I guess you already know what it means. So that means she's peak waifu material in my opinion. Uh, Pele. She is... The better version of <laughs> nike in my opinion very cool uh very righteous very much like a nice person i i think she's actually friendship wise she would be an awesome i would love to hang out with her i think she would be really really fun to be with but she also has this i'm a bit full of myself i'm the coolest the strongest um but maybe not not as bad as definitely not as bad as nike I wonder if she is peak waifu material. I have to say I kind of don't think so. I think she's good waifu material though. Persephone. Um, yeah, she's, um, she's weird. I mean, I, I think she has good sides and bad sides. I love uh, that she's taking care of plants and stuff. I like, I like taking care of plants myself, so that's a big plus. Um, 
she's a bit in love with herself as well. She's half of the year down in the in hell though, which is also a bit awkward to meet her. Um, okay, let, let's not talk about like potential like the goddesses having husbands and the mythology and stuff. Okay, let's leave that out. So she's not half of the year. Let's just see her and her character, her for her character, and not her lore. I think um, I don't know. I think she's just a, I guess I kind of get it, character. She has nothing really going for her where I feel like she makes her a good waifu. I don't know. I'm sorry. Uh, Scylla is literally just a child. And on top of that, she's a child who has several monsters that want to kill you. So, nope. I, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> okay, Sir Cat. I think Sir Cat is a very very questionable pick as well honestly sir cat is kind of the same character wise than daji um she's just she doesn't care she she just cares for herself she will torture you for her fun there's nothing good in her i think i think sir cat is just genuinely a person who likes being awful <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry for every sir cat main out there I don't mean it in a bad way. Maybe I do mean it in a bad way. Whatever. She's just questionable for me. I'm sorry. And Scotty. Scotty, I think, is awesome. I like Scotty a lot. Um, I have two problems with her. For one, can she control Caldera always? Mm, I don't know. I don't know, honestly. And number two, while I do love snow, winter is also my most favorite, um, most favorite time of the year. Doesn't Scotty also look like she's kind of dead and is super icy and cold herself? If she is, then, well, I'm already cold and when I'm in bed anyways. Like, it, I'm, I'm freezing. Do I want an ice block next to me? Probably not. Probably not. But I'm also not sure about this. So I don't want to um, put this too high on the, as a characteristic. Overall, I love her, and therefore I think she still deserves to be in the good waifu material. So, <laughs> so uh, I think she's awesome, and I think she's amazing. I also think she's super pretty, she's fun, she's... Honestly, as a friend, I would love hanging out with her. The big problem I have here is, as a waifu, you also, also want to maybe hug your waifu or maybe kiss your waifu. I, I don't know. Let, let's not go too deep into these details. But she's literally a piece of fire. Like, she's fire. You, I, I don't know. I mean, I guess I kind of get it all questionable. I can't give it higher to her. I'm sorry. Because with Scotty, you can give her the benefit of the doubt that maybe she's just... I don't know. Maybe she's not ice herself. Um, with uh, so we just know it. But she's a good person, and therefore I don't think it's a questionable pick. I think she deserves to be in the, I guess I kind of get it here, but probably pretty much at the end, because you would burn yourself 100%. Now we have Terra. Terra is very interesting to me. She has a lot of things going for her. She's like goddess of, of earth. Um, like she would also with the plants and everything. She has that going for her. I love that. She's a very nice person. I, I think she's very much like I want to protect what is important to me. She's a muscle mummy, which I think uh, she's a bit too much of. I think like where um, as like probably Mulan and Bellona also have a good amount of muscles. Okay, but she's the i don't know tara looks like a wrestler and that's too much for my liking i think character wise she's amazing though um so she deserves to be in the good waifu um ma uh, material list so um the morrigan okay uh the morrigan is literally no <laughs> she's she's uh pretty much the same as scotty in my opinion i don't think morrigan would ever care about you morrigan is just she cares about herself and even more about vengeance she has her dark plans and she will go for them is she pretty yeah she is i mean of course but does that make up for her literally wanting to kill you if if you do something wrong probably not forget to take out the trash you are dead <laughs> I, I'd rather not want to deal with that. Um, okay, yeah, no, that's just a dragon. I'm sorry. 
Okay. Um, oh, why can't I think of her name right now? I'm sorry. Um, there's nothing wrong with her. She's, she's awesome. Yamocha. Yamocha, sorry. Took me a second. Yamocha is awesome. Um, I think she's pretty. She has, um, a lot going for her. She's a nice person. Maybe, she, maybe a bit too quiet. Therefore, maybe a little bit boring. I don't really see her ever, like, going out of herself. Like, I think she's too too quiet, too calm, like, I, I don't know, they're, they're, they, I think she would like being spontaneous, being exciting, you know, and therefore I don't think she's a peak waifu, but I do think she's definitely deserving in the good waifu material list. And the last is uh, Ishtar. Okay, uh, let's, let's be real, Ishtar is super pretty. Isn't she also like considered um, goddess of beauty or something? I don't know. But Ishtar is one of the goddesses that is the most full of herself. And I think she's so much of that um, that she's kind of annoying to me. If you only go based off looks, then sure. I mean, I kind of get it, I suppose. And that's exactly where I put her in the I guess I kind of get it um, tier. So anyways, there you have it my tier list of smite waifus at least the ones that were included in this tier list if yours is missing well too bad i, I can change it there isn't a newer version on that on tier list uh, on tier maker and i didn't feel like making a new list so it's whatever here you have the list um for 2021 apparently i think i made pretty good points here um if you disagree about certain ones let me know in the comments below let me know if you would make the certain changes and what you would change i think i did a good job and i don't know i hope you enjoyed this fun little video it was a bit random but i mean at the end of the day i think it was a fun time and yeah then i hope to see you all in the next one until then bye bye